Happy Monday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. February is already the busiest month of ski season. Nearly 140,000 cars traveled I-70 through Summit this weekend. That's just a few hundred less than last weekend. This weekend was 12.5% busier than the same time last year, nearly 24% busier than 2021. Americans are feeling anxious about today, but optimistic about tomorrow in a new travel survey through Breck Tourism. About 7 in 10 people feel the same or worse about their finances compared to last year, but nearly half believe they will be doing better by next year. Analysts predict travelers will be spending less on family trips spring into summer. Just 22% are comfortable spending money on travel right now. Outside Magazine is crunching the numbers on the price to ski at five resorts, showing Vail is the most expensive, but not by much. A family of four will spend about $1,350 at Vail on tickets, rentals, lunch, parking, and travel. Not far behind it is Palisades Tahoe at just 50 bucks cheaper. The cheapest is Alta, Utah at $815. Snowboarders there actually ride for free if they poach it. Colorado's for lovers who end up getting catfished. More than 400 residents lost $24 million on romance scams in 2021. Most were fooled by fake social media profiles and sent money to catfishers they had not even met. A bride from Iowa is suing Aspen for refusing to refund her $60,000 wedding deposit. The Aspen Times reports the bride canceled the wedding for pandemic restrictions in 2021. She argues that is covered by her deposit contract. Aspen says, no, it's not. The Colorado Sun reports the avian flu has spread to a black bear and a mountain lion. Both were found dead in southern Colorado, raising fears the flu will keep spreading through other species. California is still refusing to play nice with its neighbors on the Colorado River. The Denver Post reports every state except Cali has agreed to a new conservation strategy, hoping to save nearly 2 million acre feet of water. One acre foot is a football field of water one foot deep. Local avalanche danger is moderate today in Summit County, low in the Vail area. Your problem areas are wind-loaded above tree line. In sports, the Nuggets play the heat today at 5.30. An 8-year-old boy crushed the competition Saturday at the Steamboat Winter Carnival Donkey Jump, where he soared nearly 36 feet on skis after being hauled behind a horse. Says young Zach Hyatt, he trained for the donkey jump, skiing behind a snowmobile. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon, Summit High Boys Basketball beat Steamboat at home Saturday 58-50. Girls Basketball also beat Steamboat 54-17. Tigers Hockey lost to Battle Mountain 3-0. The Frisco Freeze Fat Bike Race is coming to Frisco Nordic Center this Saturday at 3 o'clock. It is the only fat bike race of winter in Frisco. Get signed up at friscoNordic.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.